everyone. We are on week seven. You can make seven like this. How else can you make seven? You might be able to make seven like this. Okay, so for week seven, we're going to be talking a lot about long and short vowels. So we've already gone over the short vowel sound. So we've got a, e, i, a, uh, and like I told the kids, vowels open your mouths. Almost all the time, a vowel will say its short sound unless there's something that's making it say the long sound. So a lot of times with short sounds, we have this little smiley over the top, and that kind of lets us have a clue that that's the short sound. So a, e, i, a, a. Now, if we draw a line over the top, then the vowel will actually say its name. That's a clue that it says its name. So A, E, I, O, U. Vowels are the only letters that do that, that they actually say their names inside words. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go over a couple words that have the short sound, and we're gonna go over one way these short vowels can be triggered to say their long sound. So, I like these because it really shows the kids how Super E works. So, there's a YouTube that we watch that has to do with what's called Super E. So when Super E comes, it makes the vowel say its name. So here we have the word kit. Kit, so like a first aid kit or something, but if you put super E there, that's gonna make this I say I. So now it's kite, kite, kit, kite. So I could go down the list and give you all of them, but I'm only gonna do a few of them. Here we have cut and cute, cute. So cut, cute. And then down here, we have tap and tape. Tap, tape. Over here, we have hop. And then you make super E, and we have ha, oh. So I tell them, look, did you hear it say its name? That is one way a vowel can say its name. The only other way we go over this week for a vowel to say its name is with double E. So double E also makes the vowel say its name. Here we have 10, and then you add another E and it's teen. And then some of these are nonsense words. Slep, sleep, sen, seen, met, meet. So there you go, those are two ways that a vowel can say its name. The most common way that we really talk about and push this week is the super E. All right, so that is our lesson about long and short vowels. Now let's talk about magic C letters for handwriting. So when you're writing your short or your um, lowercase letters, you pretty much almost always want your pencil to stay on the paper because it's faster that way, it's more fluid. So, a magic C letter is a letter that starts with C. So we have a little, a little rhythm that goes, a magic C, C for A, D, and G, a magic C, C for A, D, and G, and when you're through, do O and Q. So this week we're gonna be focusing on making our magic C into an A, and making it into a D. There might be a paper with a G too. So we go a magic C, C for A, D, and G, a magic C, C for A, D, and G, and when you're through, next week we'll go over O and Q. So you can see that these have a C in them, and some of the things that I see kids doing is they'll make their A like this, and they'll try to go into a circle, and then they'll go like that. So what we want to do with that 
is we want to make sure that when they are at this point, they're going straight up and down. So they're not continuing into a circle. Otherwise, their D is going to look like that, and their G is going to look like that, and their A is going to look like that. So one of the things that I tell kids to help them is I'm like, okay, man, make a magic C. Okay, now stop. All right, guess what? We're going to go straight up and down, like straight like a soldier, and then back, back down. Another thing I see is when they go down, they'll go like this, and then they'll go straight up, and then all of a sudden it goes like a slide. And I'm like, oh, but that's a slide. We want to straight up and down. You're actually going to go right over the top of your original line, of your up line, go right down. So those are some tips and tricks to help with the magic C letters. And then our sight words that we have this week. One of these sight words is very tricky for them because it looks like was. Looks like a nonsense word, but of course it's was. So just really pushing this one, especially since you really can't blend it. You know, you can take your sight word cards, post them in different places, the orange ones that we're sending home. You can put post-it notes up. You can have them write it in, um, in sugar, like in a tray. You can have them uh, make it with clay. Anything you can do to help them build was, W-A-S was, and I'm gonna be sending a song with was too, just like with the other sight words. The other sight words that we have, we're gonna just review on like we did last week. It's pretty easy, on. The other two are it and at. And when there's sight words, oh, let me correct my A there. When there's sight words that look similar, then I'll go, what's the difference between these two sight words? And we'll talk about how there's only one vowel that changes the whole word. So those are our sight words for the week. I hope you have a wonderful week, and if you have any questions, as always, please let Miss Melanie or I know.